Hi, I'm Aspen with Fat People Cook Healthy Too. So today was Saturday. It is, well, it's Sunday now. It's 1 a.m. <laughs> but um, today was Saturday, which is my cheat day, but I don't mean when I have a cheat day that I can just go nuts. Um, I don't go nuts. I allow myself a pastry at the farmer's market because there's so many great local bakeries. Um, and then, you know, I allow myself to eat healthy but not Whole30. So today that meant um, going with my toddler to Cafe Zupas. And I was really excited because I love Cafe Zupas, but you can tell just based on how your body, like, like you feel clean because you ate a lot of vegetables and stuff, but you also feel like how I feel when I have a little bit of sugar in my coffee, I feel like just happy. <laughs> and so like, I, you know, I'm like, well, obviously there's, you know, this, like the soup and stuff is packed with sugar and the dressings are packed with sugar and that sort of stuff. And so I know it's not that healthy, but it's kind of dressed up as being healthy. Um, but I really screwed up because I got the, uh, the tomato basil soup and, uh, not long afterwards, I started having a panic attack and I started, uh, my heart started racing and I started to get dizzy. So I came home and, uh, my brother watched my son, um, I'm a single mom. So my brother watched my son until it was bedtime and I took one of my anti-anxiety meds and some herbs. Um, I, there's a, a company called Ridgecrest Herbals that does an anxiety-free formula that's just amazing. So I took both of those, um, and the, uh, the anxiety meds usually make me fall asleep. So I went to sleep and my brother, bless his soul, watched my son. And we, you know, like he, my son woke me up at midnight for his next bottle and, uh, he, like by the t that time, like I checked my heart rate, my heart rate was still racing. I'm scared to, te to check my blood pressure when I have a panic attack because I did once a little while ago and it was really scary high numbers. So I haven't checked my blood pressure, but, um, but my heart still felt like it was pounding and my ankles were hurting and it felt like I was pregnant again with my ankles being in pain and being kind of swollen and stuff. And so... I was like, well, that's not, I was like thinking through what I ate. I'm like, that's sodium. Like something that I ate had more sodium than my body, um, wanted. And so I, uh, I looked online and the Cafe Zupa's tomato basil soup, which I'm sure I probably had more than like whatever their serving is online was 90% of your daily value. And I should have thought about that. I should have thought about how soups that you don't make yourself are high in sodium. And I didn't think about that. And so um, it's 1 a.m. and I've got to flush the sodium out of my body. I checked my scale and I had gained five pounds from this morning. So clearly lots of water retention. Um, and so when I realized that that's what I needed to do as soon as I got my son back to sleep, I came down here and I made this and this doesn't look great. Um, but it will do the trick. It is a smoothie with uh, banana and strawberry and peanut butter and coconut water and, um, chia seeds. Um, everything, I don't know about the peanut butter, but everything else is things that will help, um, help me flush out the sodium. And now at 1am, I'm going to have to get on my treadmill for a half an hour. Um, because that's the other thing that you're supposed to do. You're supposed to drink lots of liquids. You're supposed to eat a bunch of fruit that's high in potassium and you're supposed to keep moving. Um, and so this here, um, I'm going to call something like my, uh, my sodium moving berry blast smoothie or something. I don't know. Um, but if anybody, you know, needs that kind of information, if you ever have those sort of problems where like sodium content, like causes real problems for you, if you screw up like I did, um, this is definitely the smoothie to make. And this is good information to have. I kind of wish I'd known about this when I was pregnant. I had preeclampsia, 
um, very early on and it was very dangerous and very scary. Um, so this is something that I have done a little bit of research on. So um, anyway, this is Aspen with Fat People Cook Healthy 2 signing off and saying, you know, flush out that sodium. <laughs>